Hey, what's up guys? TJ here. Today I'm out riding Mammoth Mountain. It's been a ton of fun out here today. Now I'm gonna be talking about how the Ride War Pig performs in powder. For starters, the War Pig is an all mountain snowboard kind of go anywhere, do anything. If you're unsure of what the conditions are gonna be like for the day, a board like the War Pig is gonna be a good bet. It has a 27 centimeter waist width, so that's really, really wide for a 154, about a whole centimeter and a half wider than most boards that size. So that's gonna really help out with carving as well as provide more float and powder. The War Pig does have a few things going for it that make it perform pretty well in powder. First off is the directional twin shape. So this guy actually has a significantly longer nose than tail. And you can see that just looking at the snowboard outside the contact points, which is the widest point in the snowboard. The nose just keeps going for quite a while. That's going to help poke that nose up out of the powder and help you stay floating on top. Whereas you can see on the tail, it's quite a bit shorter. I would say that the width and that longer nose are going to be the two main things that are going to help you stay on top of the powder on this snowboard. If I would have known that we were going to have such good snow today, I definitely would have set my stance back. That's going to be probably the biggest thing you can do on any twin style snowboard to help you stay on top of the snow. So if you're on a true twin or a directional twin, I definitely would say set that stance back a little bit if you know you're going to be on some deeper snow. The only downside to that is that if you do wind up on some hard pack, maybe traversing on some cat tracks or things like that, it's going to feel a little bit different turning the board on hard pack just because you're not steering the board from where it's meant to be steered. But if you're in a deep powder day, it's totally worth the compromise. It's going to make a huge difference for you. All in all, I would say that the War Pig absolutely floats better than your standard twin style snowboard. That extra width and that long nose was definitely helping keep the board on top of the snow. Also, if you want to learn more about this snowboard, make sure to check the full video review on the channel. It's on the snowboard reviews playlist. I'll put a link right here for you guys if you want to check that out. And if you got any questions for us, hit us up on Instagram. Kevin's at Snowboard Pro Camp. I'm at Board Archive. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that this video helps you out. Hope you get some good powder on your war pig, and we'll see you next time.